What's up, Y Fly? I'm Kyle Beckerman here with Chris Roth and Bobby Boswell. We're here to show you some skills on the soccer field. What's up? I'm Chris Roth. I'm going to show you how to juggle a little bit in a couple moves here. Starting off here, just right foot, left foot, making sure you uh, you keep your toes pointed down on your shoe to make sure the ball's coming back up and it's not going too high. As you do this, you move up to your thighs. The same thing. Keep good posture. Make sure you point your knees up high. Hitting the ball not off your knee, but more off the, the front of your quad. As you do this, get it up to your head a little bit. Just keeping it up there, a little bit of balance. Hit on the center of the ball to get a little bit better. You can throw in a couple. The first time I got the phone call to uh, join the U.S. national team, uh, it was pretty unexpected. It was my first year being a pro, and uh, the season had just ended. It was something I you know, had my goals and dreams always growing up. Um, just didn't expect it to come so quickly. All right, here's a nutmeg. We're gonna do this for you. It's uh, step by step. I trap the ball with my outside leg. Doesn't matter if it's right or left. I'm gonna keep an arm on the defender, keep the ball away from, as far away from him as I can. Then I'm gonna drag the ball with my outside foot. I'm gonna drag it with my left and slip it in with my right. And I'm off to the races after that. The, the difference in the, in the soccer would be just a higher level. Um, the demanding of the international game is, is much higher and it's, uh, it's real cutthroat. So everybody's demanding of each person to be at the highest level. But then off the field, everybody's good guys. And it seems like good players are good people usually. Hey, I'm Bobby Boswell. We're out here going to show you all how to head the ball in the goal. Now remember, you want to hit it with your forehead. That way you can direct the ball where you want it to go. If you hit it with the side of your head or the top of your head, you're not going to be able to tell which way the ball's going. So you want to keep your eyes open, lean back, and go through the ball. And as it comes in, then after you score, you go and you do a celebration of some sort in the corner with all your buddies. You watch this level of play your whole life, and you always dream of representing your country. It's a, it's a very serious atmosphere, but at the same time, it's also a lot of fun because you, know, you are the best at what you do. It's very intense and guys are fighting for positions that are very limited and you know you're still happy for you know the team as in general even if you're not playing you want to see them do well because those are your, your fellow countrymen. All the people that you know strive to be a national team player play as much as you can, practice as much as you can and, um, and just keep at it. For anybody younger playing I would say just have fun. Uh, if you're not having fun you're probably not going to be that good so um, always try and keep a smile on your face and uh, you know, just have fun with your friends, you know, as soon as you stop having fun, like I said, that's it. Um, even at my level, the guys still have a lot of fun every day we come to practice, it's still fun. So, you know, make sure you're having fun with it and, you know, take it as far as you can take it.